Hello, Guns.com. Joel Colander here for Rock Island Auction Company. It's preview day. It's the day before our big September 2018 Premier Firearms Auction. I'm asked to show you some of the fascinating or historic firearms. Uh, and in front of me is definitely one that has its place in the history of firearms. In the uh, five second Cliff Notes version of firearms, you had hand cannons, which were literally handheld cannons with a touch hole or a fuse, maybe, uh, maybe on the end of a post. Uh, that were used to fight in, in that nature. Uh, after that, there were matchlocks, which of course had a big burning wick that would essentially be you know, cigarette snuffed down into a touch pan full of powder and used to fire the gun. Up next, the next evolution of firearms, and this was the wheel lock. Wheel locks were loaded essentially like uh, any muzzle loading firearm that you're familiar with, uh, flint locks and the like. What makes it different is this extremely complex mechanism here. Now we should mention, because wheel locks are so complex, only the very, very wealthy could afford them. There's a lot of mechanics going inside here uh, behind this plate. And so because they were so complex and the only wealthy could afford them, you will often see them very ornamented like this. A lot of ebony inlays, a lot of bone inlays, pearl inlays, uh, engraving, gold, you name it. Whatever the wealthy wanted on their firearms, they would generally get it. So the wheel lock is fired, like I said, loaded like a standard. You'd uh, then lower, this is where it starts to differ from the flintlock, where flintlock we're used to thinking of slamming forward into a, into a frizzen and igniting our flash pan. For the wheel lock to be fired, we're going to lower the dog back onto the spinning wheel. So uh, I guess the first step would be to take a spanner and charge, essentially, spin this up, charge a large internal spring. It's going to take this, which would have held uh, not flint, but a form of pyrite. Flint would have been uh, too hard on the steel wheel that was behind here. So you've taken a form of pyrite uh, in the jaw here, which is held in place by this very, very large spring. So I'm going to be very careful in operating this. Very, very careful. You lower it like that so it's resting on this large, essentially toothed wheel. Uh, when you pull the trigger, it would uh, release the wheel. It would spin very fast against this stone. Light your gunpowder and, and off you go. Um, big improvement. Unfortunately, it's a bit of a nefarious spot in history. While match locks would not allow for political assassinations, the wheel lock had no such qualms. It could be because there was no burning wick. It could be concealed inside a coat. Uh, you wouldn't essentially be giving away your presence to any uh, guards or, or security forces that would have existed for the people who you were trying to kill. So, wheel lock. Um, would obviously have no trouble being replaced by the much, much simpler variations of the flint lock that would come along. So a short-lived spot in history, but a beautiful spot in history and an important development point uh, for firearms.